guys, it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations, and today I have another box. Um, if you are new to my channel, hello, thanks for coming in. I'm Lisa, and on my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription unboxing and tarot deck and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And if you're a returning friend, thanks for coming back. I appreciate you. Today we have the Sugar Muses Deluxe. So let me get my X-Acto knife here. I'm excited. I don't think I've seen spoilers on this, which is great because I feel like I've seen a ton of spoilers like on my other boxes this month. Because I feel like all my boxes came kind of late. <sighs> Every time. <laughs> oh, let me get it. Okay, so we've got our paperwork. So the theme for this box is Beltane. It says for grounding, new growth, and celebrating Mother Earth. My paper's all like, okay, let's go like that. Okay, let's read the beginning of this and then we'll start looking at um, what's in the box. All right, so. It says, April is finally upon us, and with it, we celebrate Earth Day, which is April 22nd. Arbor Day, the end of April, and then Beltane from April 30th to May 1st. Ooh, on May 1st, I'm getting officially um, initiated into my coven. I think I showed you guys this ring, if it will focus. It started to. Anyways, it says witch on it. Anyways. Um, and I did link that, the website for this, um, in one of my last videos. I don't remember which one it was. Okay. All focus on celebrating the return of spring. When we perform rituals and celebrations to help turn the wheel of the year, we experience and are made aware of our connection to the natural rhythms of the earth, to the in-breath and the out-breath, and to the heartbeat of Gaia. Beating the rhythms of life beneath us, the equinoxes, solstices, and cross-quarter days are times when the gate open between the worlds of the seen and unseen. Times when help can be asked for and received, a time of powerful energy and magic. Beltane, which is the beginning of summer, and Samhain, the beginning of winter, are thought to have been the most important of the four Gaelic festivals. It is one of the fire festivals and a cross-quarter day occurring between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. Lighting the Beltane fires on the 1st of May was a symbolic move to recall the growing power of the sun and to cleanse a community of the dark months spent indoors. Wells were often visited at Beltane and at the other Gaelic festivals of Imbolc and Lugnasta. Visitors to Wells would wish for health while walking sunwise, moving from east to west around the well. They would typically then leave offerings. At dawn on Beltane, traditional customs such as young girls washing their faces in the morning May Day dew to preserve youthfulness and attractiveness all continue to this day. Oh, if that works, I'm gonna do that, y'all. <laughs> I'm 45, I need, I need some help with my youth on my face. Uh, ta -da. This month we honor Mother Earth in all her beautiful glory. We will not only be celebrating the return of the light and the renewed growth of the earth, we will be rebirthing our dreams, our hopes for the future, we will be invoking healing for ourselves and the world. We celebrate our threads of connection to all people, all living things, and to Gaia Mother Earth. For more info on Earth Day and to find out ways to help, please visit their website earthday.org. As with any ritual work, it is a sacred and very personal experience and it is recommended that you use your knowledge and intuition as you are guided. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I have outlined one below along with the metaphysical properties of items tools for this month's box. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see what we have in here. First off the bat, we have this really pretty art print. I love her. She's gorgeous. That will go on my wall. And then we have a um, 
a, a print that says Mother Earth, and then it talks about um, Beltane and Earth Day. So there is that. All right, and then we have our. There we go. Uh, I mean, it's just a little sticker with a little wreath on it, but this is our Oracle card. Oh, he's pretty. So here's the back of the card. And then I've got the green man, the wise. Nice. He is so cool. I like you, green man. Okay, and so then we just have some green tissue paper. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, first, let me just take this little sprig right here. We have a nice little sprig of... Is it fake or is it real? Okay, most of it's real. There's just like one little, um, the little tie around it is fake. But how cute. It's like a little leaf that ties it all together. But we have a little sprig. It looks like lavender and... I don't know what that is but anyways that'll be lovely right here put that on my top of my altar and then right off the bat we have a little sachet with some goodies in it let's see what this is assuming it's like a little spell kit yay for spell kits all right so we have their um sugar muses um business card and then inside we've got a green um, tea light candle. And if you can see, it's got a little uh, tree of life, uh, like little charm. How cute is that? And then I have two incense cones. Ooh, they're back flow. <laughs> Yay. I've got my little Buddha back here who's a back flow guy. Um, I'm sure that you like these in the ritual but let's get Buddha going right so this is my cute little Buddha backflow guy isn't he cute so oh shit I guess I need that I need this so I can light my, my thigh A light. There we go. There we go. Hopefully he'll stay. I think I got like crud on there. Okay. Can you guys see him? Yes, you can. Okay. In a little bit, he'll start making pretties. I don't know if if he's better right there. Or... Anyways, all right. So then we have a little, um, it says grounding ritual. Um, I will just not read this because this is part of being a subscriber. So we will read a little bit about this uh, at the end. I'll read what she says about that. So we'll put this guy aside. And then write, ooh, that looks yum. We've got some chai organic tea. Can you guys see all the little bits in there? Oh, yummers. Oh, I love chai. I gotta smell this business. Mmm. So it's got cinnamon, ginger, green cardamom pods, allspice, cloves, cloves and black pepper, caffeine free. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, sorry. I was excited. I'm going to have to try some of that later. And then, of course, we have our little tea bag in case you guys don't have something like that. Oh, my God. Allergies already. Okay. Dig in here. We have our grounding um, candle. Oh, it's got pretties. So, there's that. And then, look how pretty. It's so pretty. I don't know if, is that like an allspice? Is that what that is? And then there's like a little bit of bay leaves and some glitter. 
which glitter is always fun. Okay, let's see what's this. All right, so I think we've got our um, crystal, so little green sachet. Mm -mm 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 Hmm. You guys see them? It's like, what is this? It's not fully black. It's got kind of white specks in it. I don't know. I do not know. It's got to be a grounding stone, <laughs> but it's not like, maybe it's a form of onyx. Could be a form of onyx. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm probably way off. All right. One of my favorite things from Sugar Muses right here. As I say every single time, I am obsessed, obsessed with her oil blends. So we have Spring Forest, smell it, and then I'm going to slather myself. Oh my god. Like I can't with her. Christy, Christy if you're watching, girl, like I seriously just want to like bathe in all of the, I gotta get more. <laughs> Oh my God, I love, I love, I love. Oh, it's amazing. I'll probably have like an allergic reaction after I put all that on there. <laughs> but anyways, Christy with Sugar Muses. Girl, hit it. Frick, I said this last time about something, but hit it at the park, like all the time. I love your oils, love. All right, now let's, is my, did my backflow stop? Shit. <laughs> I think my cone stopped, y'all. I didn't, I didn't let it burn long enough or something. Ooh, ooh. Gonna knock it over. Okay, come here, cone. Come here. Okay. I'll let you burn for a second. Hopefully I don't drop you and burn my house down. Okay, stay there. There we go. Alright, sorry guys. Just wasting everybody's time over here. Okay, so now we got some incense. I need to like start writing on the bag what these are because I put all my incense together and then I'm like, shit. Hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna light that next. So I'm gonna write on this bag here in a little bit once we get into our um, paperwork. Okay. And then we have marshmallow root and it says grounding love and protection. So that is our herb for today. Very good. All right. I think, oh, there's something else in here. Oh, I have another stone. Yay. Okay. Let's see. I think it's, um, looks like smoky quartz. Oh my god, I feel like I'm just like unwrapping shit this whole video. I'm like having a hard time. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm pretty positive that this guy is smoky quartz. It almost looks like it had some rutiles in it a little bit. Ooh, I got rainbows. I don't even know if I can get it on camera, but I got some rainbow flashes. Lovely. Okay, I think I'm down to this last item. <gasps> oh my god. I There's a paper inside of here of what this is. I've been wanting this. Oh my god, really? Is that what this is? 
Oh my God. Where's, where's my X-Acto knife? Oh my God. If this is what it is, I've been wanting this so bad. I've, I've literally eyed this thing for years. I don't know why the heck I never bought it, but I have not. I'm going to be so excited. There's just like little sprigs of things all over this. Oh my god! It's a Gaia statue! I don't know if you guys can see. She's got little, um... Little critters. There's like animals and stuff in her hair. I, and then she's got like all kinds of like symbols and stuff all over her or like animals drawn. Yeah, I guess it's all animals drawn all over her. I have literally wanted this statue forever. Oh my God, I love you. She's got a butterfly in her hair. She's got more than one butterfly. <gasps> Yay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Like when I looked, this was like on the bottom so I could see her. So yeah, I totally knew it was. So it says the millennial Gaia, a visionary goddess sculpture by Oberyn Zell. Nice. Okay. There's just all kinds of keys to the images on Gaia's body. Nice. So there's just all the little symbolism and stuff that's on her. How fun. Wow. And on the back, can you guys see that? It shows like um, all the little animals and stuff on her, in her hair. Oh, and it's like a bunch of, um, it says evolution of life on land. It's a bunch of different um, species that may not even be around anymore. Oh, how cool. And I'm not going to know how to freaking fold this back. There we go. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm going to have to read through this later. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Sorry. I was excited. Let's... I'm going to open this. So we've got... Um, we're going to recap and see what she says about it. So we have Deep Forest Incense Sticks. Let me write this on here. Deep Forest. Super. Um, I don't think it really says, like, what is involved there. Okay, so yes. And then we have our um, Tumble Smoky Quartz. Like I said, it says Smoky Quartz is one of the most versatile. Can you guys see my... It's not doing too good right now, but anyways, it's starting to backflow until I move it and then it's like all over the place. Okay. Smoky Quartz is one of the most, I'm sorry, I have not taken my ADD medicine today <laughs> and yeah, I'm all over the place. It's one of the most versatile gemstones available. It is considered to be one of the most powerful grounding stones and can be used for cleansing and balancing as well. Keep one in the car. Uh, with you to keep safe while driving. I'm getting ready to go buy me a monster from the store, so that's going to come with me then. This stone resonates with the root chakra to banish negativity. Stand with your bare feet on the ground and hold the smoky quartz. Release negative energy into the earth and visualize it seeping down and dissolving into the dirt. All right, and then she goes into the guided ritual. All right, so let's see. The spring forest ritual oil... It says, this magical oil blend contains grounding patchouli, sandalwood, and wisps of a summer forest breeze. Yeah, I don't know. It smells so good. And it's, um, okay, wait. Sweet top notes of white lilies and vanilla. Okay. Round out this oil infused in an organic almond oil base. Lovely. Okay. And then we have our grounding, wait. 
rounding candle. Did I miss something? I don't think I got the candle. Am I crazy? Oh, okay. Just kidding. I'm crazy. Just kidding. It's the tea light candle. I don't know. I was thinking like a big candle. Okay. So that is our grounding candle. And then we have the organic marshmallow root. It says this root is a protective cleansing herb. It can be burnt for this purpose. It can be infused in a carrier oil to make an infusion that can be used as an anointing oil. Place on the altar during ritual to draw in good spirits. Use in grounding rituals. Uh, and then it says, please consult. Da, da, da. The, let me go back to the grounding candle. It did say something about it. It says it's infused with vetiver, bay, eucalyptus, and chicory root. And then we have our uh, Oberyn Zell's official Millennial Gaia statue. Originally created and presented to the world May 1998 as a portrayal of Gaia, a goddess for the new millennium. This enchanting piece has been called a uh, sermon, to, excuse me, sermon in stone with the myriad symbols and images that she displays. As an inclusive representation of the history of life on and within Earth, she conveys the spirit of our living planet. This exquisite figurine, the millennial Gaia, brings our new evolving consciousness of Earth into a physical form. She is, an she is an invitation to each and every human being to enter consciously into the myth and story of the living Earth and to, re sorry, and to respond to her as our mother, as the larger being of which we are all part. This beautiful piece spoke to me as soon as I held her in my hands. I hope she speaks to you too. The statue was obtained through a licensed and authorized dealer. Any other sources of the statue is unauthorized. Oh, there you go. So anyways, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I, I need to find a spot for her. Move this, she gonna run up there. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. <laughs> okay, and then, okay, I would have never ever guessed this darker stone is a tumbled stromatolite. I'm not sure if I've heard of that stone. This amazing stone is made is made of possibly the first living organism on Earth. Nice. Making it 3.7 billion years old. It is said to hold ancient wisdom of the Earth and Mother Nature and is used in grounding rituals for calming the mind, meditation, past life recall, and for peaceful sleep. This stone resonates with the root chakra and can be used with the grounding kit in this month's box. Nice. And then we've got the grounding ritual kit. This kit was created exclusively for this month's box. It contains a spell candle, charm, incense, cones, and spell scroll with suggestions for, root, uh, for use. Then we have our botanical bundle offering. See there. These dried herbs and botanicals were chosen for their magical properties. Each bundle will vary slightly. One used, excuse me, I used <laughs> sprigs of artism. I can never say this. Artemisia, Artemisia, uh, larkspur, lavender, lepidium, and rosemary. Do not burn. Place on your altar as an offering. I placed mine in front of my Gaia figurine on my Beltane offer. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I just made a new space that um, I guess I'll make my little Beltane altar over there. Yay! Just got a new like Ikea thingy. So I have like little cubes, you know, and I've made some of the cubes like, um, uh, like mini altars. Okay, I guess that's it. And then, of course, at the end of the ritual, she always says to drink the tea that's provided. Um, and it says, chai organic tea known for its grounding properties. And then we have the Mother Earth art print. Was it this? Yes. Mother Earth art print by Christy. Digital collage collage art print was created exclusively for this box it can be placed on your altar framed or added to your book of shadows grimoire for future reference and then we have our gaia art print by christy 
and that is also says the same thing and then we've got our intuitively drawn oracle card which i got the green man there he took a minute to focus um, for more information about your card and the deck it was drawn from search for the gaia temple oracle cards by sarah perini and elena albanese on sugarmuses.com oh there's a giveaway Sugar Muses Deluxe Muse Box, May 2021, shipping between May 4th and the 11th. I'm doing a giveaway for Sugar Muses to share my appreciation for you who help support this journey. I'm so excited, and the instructions to enter are listed below. Make sure to follow all the instructions to enter. Um, so you have to be subscribed um, and have gotten this box to be entered into the drawing. So I'm not going to say all these. If you subscribed, you will have the instructions for that. So anyways, very good. Um, that is our Beltane box for April 2021. What do you guys think? I am in love. Oh, can you see my backflow guy? I don't like when you pick them up. Got to do this slowly. Can you see it? I don't know that it's translating all that well. He'll start going if you guys are interested. How cool, let's see. I'm sure that you guys have seen a backflow incense burner before. If not, here it is. Well, anyways, so it starts flowing down and it looks like a river. It's very cool, I love it back over there and let him do his thing all right so obviously girlfriend is my favorite <laughs> what do you guys love about this box i think everything is amazing so that is it if you guys wouldn't mind leaving me a comment below what you think about this box what is your favorite item i just told you mine and if you um, haven't already subscribed to me, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I want to keep bringing these to you guys. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, it's, it's becoming a really fun journey for me. And hopefully I'm bringing you fun videos and I can continue to do more fun things for y'all. Um, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that really helps boost me in YouTube's eyes so I can kind of get more out there and keep doing this for you guys. So again, thanks for stopping in. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.